I guess this drive-in is becoming my favorite spot because I keep winding up back here dropping off crafting materials and stuff. I'm hoping to eventually have enough things to uh, actually do some building with here. And I'm going to need a lot of stuff. Lots of steel. Lots of steel and wood. Above anything else. But uh figured we'd stop and listen to these holotapes that I found in the Super Duper Mart. It's actually the first time I've sat in a chair. Oh, I guess this is the new way that you can wait without actually sleeping. Okay, I get it. Anyway, we found uh, two holotapes in and around the Super Duper Mart, so I thought we'd uh, check those out and see if there isn't a story to be told here. They were found on Minutemen, so... What the hell is Josh doing? He's been gone for over an hour! We need to get out of here! The guys are thinking we're already at Concord. If Josh would hurry his ass up, maybe we can get there in time! Shit! Gunfire! Not good! Josh! Okay. I think that was the girl in the garage. I came back yesterday with Emma. Everyone's gone. Looks like they left in a hurry and had one hell of a fight. Feral corpses everywhere. Emma and I searched for anything they might tell us where they went. The only thing we found was Anthony. <laughs> Must have been bad. They never would have left his body there. I set Emma down to the loading dock to wait for me while I check on something. We won't stay long. I just want to get Anthony's body and wait. Oh, the pharaohs are back. Oh, fuck me. Ah, okay. I, I, I think I get the story. All right. This was a splinter group of the Minutemen uh, cut off from Preston Garvey, probably off doing something, helping somebody and coming back or whatever. Anyway, they thought Preston and them had already moved on to Concord, and apparently had, and got chased out by the ghouls and or the raiders. So a lot of those dead ghouls we saw just laying around everywhere, apparently that was Preston Garvey's work, and what was left of his crew, along with the raiders too. Okay, and then, um, off in the Super Duper Mart, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of dead raiders also. I think I'm going to give my dog some, uh, some food to carry around. What do you think about that? Give him his own uh, canned dog meat just to have. He'll he'll never use it, but just so he'll know. Just so he'll know he's cared for. It's my buddy. Anyway, all right, so these, these two get separated, and instead of uh, heading on to Concord to join up with Preston Garvey, um, they decide to stay behind to look for that one Minuteman who's lost in the, uh, in the Super Duper Mart, who we found first, I believe. He didn't have a holotape on him. But then we found the guy with the holotape, um, a little farther back. Apparently he had gotten cornered back there by ferals. Uh, probably the same ones that got that first guy. And then, um, I guess that was the girl down in the garage, which was the loading dock. And a couple ferals ambushed us there, so that's probably who got her too. But they never made it back up with Preston. So, remember Preston said something along the lines, we started with 20. Um, probably when they left Lexington, they only had like, what, 8? And then he said, now we're five, so I guess they'd lost a couple more there in that museum or whatever where we met them. And so now they're in Sanctuary. Hopefully they will do better there. We've set up some defenses and food and housing for them, so they should be cared for. It's kind of a good feeling looking out for people just as they're looking out for us. And uh, according to Preston Garvey, as we build the Minutemen, um, they'll be there. We even have a flare gun now that we can call for assistance. Similar, I guess, to the NCR radio you get. Um, in New Vegas? Probably something along those lines. I'm guessing um, the other factions probably have something similar to that. I'm assuming we'll meet the Brotherhood, right? Um, of Steel, out here somewhere. Some faction of that. And then, I don't know what all this stuff with the Institute is. We have the Railroad here. There's evidence of them. I don't know what part they play in the story, but I'm sure they're a big part of it, considering you have synthetics, androids. Um, involved here and all that kind of stuff. So I see a lot of really good story in the making. Lots of groundwork being laid here. If you look for it, you know? And that's what I love. You can, you can, if you look for it, it's there. Keep your eyes open. You can see all just all kinds of amazingness in this game. Anyway, let's... Uh, all right, we just got a hint to listen to a radio broadcast. Automated message repeated. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. OK. 
Okay. Like that shot? Okay, so first, scribe means Brotherhood of Steel right there, speaking of Brotherhood. Awesome. All right. So their presence is now known. And then um, evac, right? We all remember seeing the uh, the vertebrates and stuff like that in the trailer at the E3, at the E3 reveal. That's something they, they put right out there is you had vertebrates, and that, that just made me almost do a backflip in my chair. If I was physically capable of doing it, I probably would have. Notice the bodies are gone here. I'm assuming they got washed out when we left the area and came back. So note to self, make sure you loot any bodies that you might want something off of before leaving. Because if you fast travel out, um, the area gets uh, gets cleaned up, I guess. I guess that's to prevent a lot of clutter from collecting, considering the size of the world and all that stuff that's going on, I'm, I'm guessing. Put a little less strain on the cache, a little less strain on the computer having to remember what it's doing or something. I don't know. Whatever. That's a new thing. I'm used to things kind of sticking around for a while. At least for a good solid three in-game days. That's been kind of the 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 general uh, time frame in Bethesda games for stuff to, you know, kind of slowly disappear or whatever. Get washed out of the map. But now I guess it's just anytime you fast travel, so I miss it wasn't just probably anything but a couple guns and some raider leather armor and stuff, but still been nice to have it. Ammo if nothing else, but whatever. And we, we sniped at least, what, six or seven of them before we left, too. So we got rid of a good amount of the equipment that... Oh, well. Anyway. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. All right, so... Um, Brotherhood definitely being an active... Um, an active player in the story here. That's That's very cool. I'd like to see what this East Coast Brotherhood is kind of about. See how they play into things here. I'm, I'm guessing at some point there will be sides to pick. There almost always is. At least in some form or fashion. I wonder who the uh, quote-unquote good guys and bad guys are. If uh, Dr. Zimmer was any indication in Fallout 3, then the Institute would be the bad guys. Bunch of arrogant scientific pricks, who are the kind of people that are responsible for the world being the way it is as as we see it. And now that it's been destroyed, rather than learn their lesson, um, do their best to destroy the rest of it. That's that's my guess. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. See how the story plays out. I can't wait to play again. <laughs> Actually, um, it's one thing to sit here and do these videos, and on one hand, this is enjoyable. Sharing the experience with you guys, the laughs and the tears and, you know, all that good stuff. Everything that comes with the game, um, you know, the, the uh, achievements and the fails and all that good stuff. But it's another thing to get into that zone and have those, you know, 14, 16 hour uninterrupted sessions where you just get lost in the game. That is something I'm missing because, well, it, this requires stopping every, you know, 30, 30 minutes to an hour or whatever to... Uh, you know, edit and do all the other stuff and whatever zone you might get get into, you get knocked out of it. And so that experience is kind of lost trying to do the videos. I don't regret it. It's a different kind of experience, but that is something that I haven't had yet. And I guess I can make you guys a little bit jealous for all of you who have already played through and maybe on your second playthrough and have had multiple characters and all this stuff. I haven't even started like that yet. I haven't even gotten to that point. In fact, by the time we're done with this Let's Play, I'll get to start over and it'll almost all be new again. Because this is, like I said, been broken up into little bits as far as just experiencing the whole picture um, all at once, you know, taking it in big chunks. I haven't been able to do that yet. So that's actually kind of cool. I am so going to get as many of these videos done and under my belt so that I can upload them, right, and, and pass them along to you guys while I get back into this game, start a new character, and I'm gonna work on a new build and experience the story. Um... And really get immersed because I, I I will get lost. I can play 14, 16, 18, 24, 30 hours straight. It's not a problem. It's really not because I I'll I'll forget that there's even a clock. You know, I'll get in the zone and uh and just stay there and love every minute of it. Actually, where are you at? Are you shooting with a shotgun from up there and hitting me? Wow. Okay, we'll take that. 
If you'd had one of these, maybe you'd had better luck. Da ding Sweet. Okay, is that the last of them? We sniped a lot of these dudes before we left. And uh, still got some... How many raiders are in this place? Tell you what, just the sheer population of the world is a lot higher than previous Fallout games. Like, there are... Uh, we, we're getting a lot of enemies at once. That's very cool. I guess if you're going to defend a place like this, you're going to have numbers, you know? You're not just going to have five or six raiders trying to hold down a fort. You're going to have a couple dozen, you know? Because you can't knock those out, huh? Just, just the spotlights. i say it'd be cool if you could knock out all the lights in the game if you felt like it. Well, might as well grab everything. We're probably going to wind up doing another loot run, actually. Take all this stuff back, which is cool. We'll have plenty of gear to uh, give people at the settlement. And uh, hopefully have some stuff to build with, too. Steel and wood. Wood especially is going to be an issue with the drive-in because unless I get some shipments sent, and if, if I remember right, the shipments only include like 25 or 50 pieces. What is that? Is that like a huge irradiated crater or are those lights of a city popping up out of there? And what's that? Don't tell me that's Fenway Park. Maybe that's the Institute. Who knows? I haven't been there yet. We'll see. Wow, just look, man. Look at the view. How badass is this? This is what I paid for. This is what I spent my money on. Right here. And notice uh, Bethesda showing off their vertical skills here. The ability to get vertical now. It used to be if you wanted to go upstairs, you had to go through a loading screen. <laughs> In the old game, you were lucky if you could go upstairs in a two-story house without a loading screen. In old Bethesda games and stuff. Now, uh, they're showing off their abilities and they're giving us towers and stuff that you can climb. Freeway overpasses that, that go on forever and all that. What you got, dude? What you find? There's got to be loot way up here, right? Oh, what's that? I see. That's what I'm talking about. Cha-ching! Makes fusion cores last longer. I guess for you power armor guys, that's uh, that's the thing right there, huh? 10% longer, that's like making your fusion cores 110 instead of 100, I guess. You got anyone down here? I don't see anybody. Looks like, uh, well, somebody set those lanterns there. One of these days. I don't explore it this game. I'll explore it eventually. I plan on covering every square inch of this map. Above ground, underground, inside out. I don't care. I've got to see it. Now, unless this, this build just goes to crap, the things I have in mind to do with this one, um, I don't know exactly... Okay, well, that usually means my dog's found something. Where you at, dude? I have no idea where he went. Oh, well. But, um, unless things just fall apart, um, this is, you know, kind of kind of typical, I guess, of my play style anyway. Uh, probably silenced weapons, light armor, you know. Um, sneak and tactics involved, stuff like that. Um, also plan on doing a melee build, and that'll probably be my next one. And that one, uh, ought to be really, really cool. It may be, um... From what I see, from how how things are kind of laid out in the special tree, probably the most effective build in the game. Um, from what I've seen of different combinations, I mean, anyone can throw on a suit of power armor and get a bunch of extra health and find an OP, you know, AOE type weapon like, you know, mini nukes and mini guns and, and all this type of stuff and invest in a bunch of ammo and just run around like that and kind of a tanky build. And there, there's perks for all that, all that too, to make that really viable. But uh, I... I I can't see it being near as fun as, as going in and being literally a ninja. Being just really, really sneaky, really, really deadly, doing a crap ton of damage and not even really worrying about getting hit. The idea is to not even take hits. You know, um, it would involve a certain play style, but that makes it even more fun. If, if it plays out like what I have in mind, and uh, especially considering they've, they've greatly improved like the third person view and the animations and the you know, the kill cams and the vats and all that. I mean, it's it it seems like it would be a lot of fun. I do have it kind of mapped out in my head. It's going to be nice to see some of the weapons that become available as we go along. 
mainly the mods. Um, I know they have the legendary stuff, and it'd probably be a good idea to start with the legendary weapon because you usually get a passive bonus that basically makes it as a, a, a better base weapon to work with. And assuming you can mod legendary stuff, then if I found a legendary weapon that had a particular trait that fit right into a high critical, high damage build, just a straight DPS build, See if I can get this off. What? Take that, son of a bitch. Um, then I would probably find something like that. But I have to see what's available. I, you know, play through the game and then see what comes up. And th there'll be at some point in the game I'll find something, whether it's a certain kind of mod for armor or a weapon, or a certain particular legendary weapon that fits right into what I want to do. And I'll be like, you know, I don't need that for this character, but damn, that would fit in with such and such a character, such and such a build. And uh. Maybe create builds around particular weapons. And that's cool because that's almost a um, it's almost a Dark Souls mentality. If you have certain legendary type of stuff that give you a legendary perk and then you have certain mods you can stick on it and then accompany that with certain perks and stuff. Something to think about. And um, for those complainers, all right, all right yeah, um, if you aren't one, you've at least heard one that talks about the... Uh, the combat being imbalanced and the enemies being bullet sponges and stuff like that, especially on survival difficulty and all that. Keep in mind that the best difficulties, higher difficulties on a game, are the ones that are going to require you. They're going to force you, bottleneck you, into either learning the combat system and learning the skill trees and coming up with a build or failing miserably. That's the best higher difficulties. Those are the ones that make you learn. If, if you're not ready for that, then don't do it. You know, just play on normal. But if, if you're ready to actually look into the game, look at the numbers, st study possible builds and, and combinations of gear and perks and stuff like that, and then put those things together and be willing to uh, do, the, do the footwork necessary to collect all the items you're going to need to make that build a reality, um, that, that's where it's at. Okay, so I see that. I see that with... Uh, with how all this can play out. I don't, we'll see. We'll see. I see any build being really, really viable here, considering they give you such a wide uh, range of mods and various equipment that you can use and certain stuff you have to play with and things. Well, that was an epic miss. Okay, that was just a complete waste of a Molotov. So, anyway... We'll see. We'll get into that. Like I say, that'll be that'll be on quote unquote my playthrough when I go through and zone out and uh, spend some real quality uninterrupted time with the game and uh, come up with something cool. I think we'll we'll do a build from this too. Maybe see if it plays out. What what I'm scared of is that somewhere on down the line I'll realize I've wasted points somewhere, and one single wasted point kind of washes the build as far as I'm concerned. Because, I mean, if you waste one in one place, then that means you could have spent it somewhere else and your build isn't, it's not optimal. It's not where it could be. All right. Are we done on this side? Looks like this is kind of split into two areas. We got this side of the staircase and then uh, another side off to our right. Okay, well, as long as they can't find me, I'm going to loot the place. We'll go deal with them later. This is a huge place. Got raiders yelling at me. <laughs> Insulting me from Only a distance. A coward hides. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, I don't see you either, buddy, so... Talk to yourself. Talk to the hand, how about that, while I loot the place. No sign of him now. Is this the boss? Boss computer? What do we got? Okay, well, we're definitely doing the world a favor here because this is their base from which they raid caravans and stuff.
Whatever you say, boss. Wow. Has anyone ever heard the Raiders, like, just sit there and have an argument like that? How cool is that? Oh, wow. Pick this. Well, crap. Here, carry some of this stuff, would you, buddy? Alright, I need to either need to find a key for this or uh come back here. Maybe this place is designed to come back here. There's no I don't know what what level uh you need to be to get the master lock picking perk, but I'm, it's probably up there in the thirties or forties or something, and so apparently there are future plans for this place or something. Let me have that. For all I know, the key is on one of these bodies here, and I've just completely missed it. Oh, well. I'm sure that's heavy, and I'm sure it also probably either gives you steel or aluminum or something, too, so... <laughs> Bubblegum everywhere. I wonder if there's someone you can give bubblegum to for a reward. Oh sweet, a carrot. I wonder if you can plant that carrot. I hope so. There's adhesive. That's definitely worth it. Duct tape solves everything. <laughs> right? If it's broken, put duct tape on it. It'll fix it. What do we got here? You don't you don't hear me over here, huh? Oh, I'll get you, buddy. Who's that? Let's see, we got a turret. I did not get a hit marker. I notice the hit marker gives you that little star when you hit it, Matt. I wish I had a silencer on this damn thing. I still don't think I'm getting a hit marker. I don't need to be just sitting here wasting 308 rounds either. Can I hit it from here? Yep, that's a hit marker. There we go. That's down. Whoa! You can get headshots with melee? I think so. Made a big mistake, rookie. Did I? Did I really? Is there a door over here? No, I guess not. Okay. Keep firing. Nice. I'll clear out a room full of raiders. Boy, don't I wish I had a workbench here. Can you imagine the scrap? Look at all this stuff. Is that all I can think about when I see stuff now? Yes. <laughs> it is all I can think about. Pipe auto pistol. I might just wind up making my own damn gun. My own version of an infiltrator. I went and looked and apparently, other than that abomination they call an assault rifle and the fact that there is no such thing as a 10 millimeter SMG um I can't see really anything else to work with other than a 10 millimeter pistol I would have thought if you could turn a laser pistol damn near into a laser rifle then I don't see why you can't turn a 10 millimeter pistol into a 10 millimeter either rifle or SMG I don't understand I mean you essentially can because you make it fully automatic o okay I get it but um where is the uh Where's the extended stock and the stability and all that? I mean, you can put a, what, a marksman's grip on it. Oh, uh, I think I hear ghouls. Here, dog, me grab this. I think we got company. I don't know why the ghouls weren't bothering these raiders. That's uh, oh well. You just, just carry whatever you can, buddy. I don't want to lose as much weight as possible so that uh, I don't have to keep doing this every two seconds. I'm wondering.
getting some of this stuff. What, am I not even wearing a right arm? Where'd my right arm go? Huh, okay. That's weird. Yeah, I apparently I'm not wearing one at all. That's probably even better. Yeah, it is. Okay, sweet. Okay, somehow I removed that. Yeah, wasn't wearing one at all. And we got a couple. Get him, get him, boy. Sweet. All right, where are you at? Just noise, just noise. Yeah, it was just noise. That's all it was. Let's go back to what you, whatever you were doing. That's right. Just noise. The problem is, if we're supposed to kill all the raiders here, kind of keeping a map in the back of my head, figuring out where we've been and where we haven't been, it's going to be the hard part. Little matter. The more we have to run around looking for these guys, the more uh, the more loot there is to find. Anyway, right? There's one right there. Bam. Okay, we'll go check down there in a second. Who's there? Whoa. Uh, yeah. Oh, I love how the smoke trail just kind of floats off. Man, that is cool. Give me all that. I'll take it. You know, take that. That's worth a 308 round. Shut up. That's it. I'll take it, whatever it is. Nice. Yes. And I haven't even grabbed everything here. And then on top of that, we still have a bunch to go. And I'm already almost capped out on inventory. Yeah, this is definitely worth worth coming to. Okay, we got uh, radiated barrels. Well, it looks like these raiders might eventually have become ghouls had we not put them out of their misery. Okay, I think we're dead-ended over here. Um... Yeah, I'm running out of inventory space. Tell you what, we'll just make a run. We'll uh, kind of come up with a cutoff point. Find where this area dead ends. In fact, looks like it dead ends right here. Okay, cool. We'll do this. We'll go make sure we got uh, this section that's open to itself. Kind of cleared out. And then uh, I guess we'll save the next area behind the next loading screen. Actually, we could uh, clear this out, come back, and come in through the front door. Maybe clear out that front area or something. I don't know. Whatever. But at some point pretty soon we're going to need to get all this stuff back to uh, back to the settlement. Maybe we'll have some steel out of all this junk. Some. Still wood, is wood if nothing else, is going to be a problem. Alright. 
Stupid clip ended. Sorry about that. Okay. Maybe we should have left that turret alone for a second. cool if those spotlights came automatic with any turret that you set up. That'd be cool. Kind of a tracking light for the turret at night. That'd be really cool. Considering the amount of material it takes to make a turret, wouldn't mind adding in one extra little, I don't know, circuit board or piece of copper or something to get a uh, spotlight up there. Piece of glass or whatever. Totally cool with that. Sweet. Lexington is ours. Talking about the apartments. I think we cleared out that apartment. Oh, this guy's asking for a second turret down here. Because uh, this is I think I think I know where this pipe leads. It leads uh it leads out um to another section out front of the place. I believe it's like an exit out of here. Okay, so apparently Jared is the uh, is the boss here, or something. I don't know who that Gristle character was. We've probably already killed him somewhere or something. Another Reaver. Damn. Something tells me I don't want to. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. That's what you call a a, uh, a sip slip, where you're trying to pick up something. How many of us have done that in a dirty toilet? A sip slip. Yeah, see this right here? I think this, yeah, I think this pipe leads outside. Oh, wow, I'll take all that. Sweet. I think we can follow that all the way out. Kind of like leaving a cave, but uh, I have other things to see in here, so I'll have to investigate that some other time. Alright, I think this side over here is done. So essentially this is just another entrance you could make to this whole compound here. Through that pipe, just choose to come in that way or whatever. You can now remember some raiders yelling at us from the other side too. Oh sweet! I bet you I can plant that. Hey. Okay, that leads out somewhere. More rubbery, more rubber in this factory than anything else. Seems like. Okay, there's probably some. Yeah, I see spotlights going and everything over there. Then I would guess uh, that, that door right there leads to maybe back to the front area or something. There we go. That's one. I don't think I need these spotlights giving us up. I don't know how many raiders we're gonna have over here, but. Is are oh uh, let me ask you guys are the voices better on your end because see before when I'm editing I can only go by what I hear right and maybe my hearing's just bad or whatever but it seemed like everything was pretty well mixed I try to make it to where I'm either not yelling at you guys or completely drowned out to where it's a balance to where it's not just a jarble so um, but a uh, few of you have mentioned um, 
not being able to hear voices. I don't know if you necessarily meant me or the, the NPCs. I, I think you're referring to the NPCs. So, um, I went in and I adjusted that. I raised their voice to max and, uh, you know, kept the master volume all the way up. So I'm, let me know if it's an improvement. Like right here, it's just raiders, you know, saying, huh? What was that? As they hear gunshots. What was that? Oh, I guess it was nothing. <laughs> Typical Bethesda game. Get shot in the face with an arrow. Who's there? Oh, I guess it was nobody. <laughs> arrow sticking out of your forehead, right? We've all seen that, but, um, let me know if you guys can hear it better. If I, 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 I don't know what else I can do, really. Unless I drop all the game volume other than just the noises. But then I don't think you're going to hear the ambient music and all the other good stuff with the game, too. So if it's enough to at least hear it, if it's, you know, if it's a good solid mix, that'd be great. If it's perfect, that'd be really perfect because I want it like that for you guys. But uh, I'm not sure what, what else I can do um, before I actually start messing it up. So there's nothing out there. Like I say, it was it was good on my end before, but I raised it up a little bit for you guys. Uh, let me know. Hmm. I would like to take that home. All right, we'll go down there and take care of those raiders here in a second. Nice. First, I'm going to be needing all this good stuff up here. Come on, buddy. One more load. Just carry what you can. I'll get, I'll get the rest. He's probably about maxed out. Got to be real close. Yeah, there, there he is right there. Wow. All right. Well, I'll carry what else I can. So I'll try to keep my eye out for anything that might give me steel. That'd probably be best. Hey. Is this an exit? We may actually make that our cutoff point. In fact, let's clear out this side, and then we're going to take our stuff home. So I'm maxed out, and if we still have a bunch of area to cover, um, I'm going to want to pick up a bunch of that stuff. I can see things here that I'd love to grab right now. In fact, I'm going to grab that. I'm definitely going to grab that. Light bulbs are gold, man. They give you glass and copper. Beautiful, and they weigh almost nothing. I'd love to start finding boxes of light bulbs. Six, ten, twelve at a time? Oh, yeah. Give me that. Okay, I guess this is their quarters down here, huh? How about burn them in their sleep? Seems like the thing to do. Hey, back to man. Take that. Mm. Got her. And we got two, three more. Huh. Oh, man, come back. I was having Ow! Fun. How did I get myself with that? I got flashback on that. Flashback, blowback, whatever they call it. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just me burning all your friends to death in their beds. That's all. Oh, sweet. I'm carrying too much, huh? Well, something tells me I'm probably not going to be able to get rid of that. I'm going to have to give something up for that submachine gun. Um, although I'm not really a big fan of the way they look. I, I really don't like them at all, to tell you the truth. But, uh, if nothing else, they're worth caps. Or they're worth giving to, uh, somebody at the, uh, back at a settlement. Having your settlers armed with submachine guns? Shh, it's not a bad thing, I would imagine. Take care of any kind of raid on your settlement real quick. I really want to get rid of any of this. I need to get rid of weight, is what I need to do. None of this really weighs all that much individually. One, one and a half pounds, stuff like that. That's, hmm. Let's see, what else we got here? That's six and a half. What do these weigh, nine pounds? Oh, nine units? Okay. One of those will cover it then. Yeah, easily. 
Probably take my other stuff back, actually. That's cool. Let's grab something else. Let me have that. Let me have that. Oh, bottle cap mine. Sweet. I don't know where this other raider is. He seems to know I'm here. I'll go take care of him in a second. I'll come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I got you, bro. <laughs> it's got to be up there somewhere. Yeah. It's like we got a couple more. Man, there is a lot of raiders in this place. I don't know how many we've killed so far. Probably looking at a couple dozen, at least. And there's still more to go. We have like a whole section we still haven't covered yet. Dumbass coward. Dumbass coward, huh? Really? What do you think of that? Okay, I think that's the last over here. No? I'm about ready to pack it in. Just keep your eyes open. Still hearing people. Wow. I don't know. Maybe the area next to this is connected. Is that a loading screen? Yeah. Yeah, that's a loading screen there. I don't know whether... Uh, well, well. That's cool. We'll have to come back to it. We'll call this uh, one zone kind of cleared out. And then uh, we'll come back. And I, I think I want to head in straight through the front door and see what there is to be seen there. Oh, look, it got all foggy out here again. I love how the fog rolls in. That's really cool. Cool. It says, what'd you find, dude? Uh, probably pointing at what I just picked up, probably. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Alright, well, once again, let's head back to the drive-in, and that's where we'll start from on the next one, I'm sure. I'm go drop off stuff. Doesn't look like I got any new settlers or anything. wonder why they're not coming. As soon as I put up that beacon, that one strolled in to take care of the place. I, I I have one caretaker here. That's it. I have one caretaker. Maybe it just takes a long time. Or maybe it's random. Maybe as settlers literally walk by. I don't know. That's, that's cool. Anyway, if you want to subscribe, click that button up top if you haven't already. And if you want to catch the rest of this Let's Play, click that image there in the middle. It should send you straight to the playlist. All right. Either way, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.